In 2022, Alexis Storman did something she's never done before. She voted. I think the message is that your voice matters. Fast forward about a year and the FSU junior now fiercely trying to get more college students to do the same as head of Florida's College Democrats. When I tell other people they should be voting, um, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm practicing what I'm preaching. And the state party needs all the help it can get. The midterms last year were devastating. Plus, since 2021, Republicans have held an ever-growing lead in voter registrations, now sitting at more than a half million. Does that number scare you? No, that number doesn't scare me. New state party chair Nikki Freed told us Tuesday, Democrats can eliminate that deficit, and she has a plan to do it. The last thing you want to do is go into like the game with a seven, with you know two touchdowns down, and then have to not only overcompensate that, but have to perform all four quarters. And so we look at that, we got to at least equal the playing field, and that's why we're focusing on voter registration. The party no longer relies on outside groups, she said, now taking back control of registration efforts for the first time in years. Hi, do you want to register to vote? Dems also back on college campuses, changing up their comms, offering an agenda beyond GOP criticism. And Freed says targeting the growing number of NPAs, disillusioned Republicans, and reclaiming the vital Hispanic vote. In 2023 alone, uh, we have seen Democratic numbers increase by close to 50,000 votes in the Hispanic community. At the same time, a tremendously large decrease in the Republican voter registration in Hispanics. Freed thought that controversial immigration reform law and migrant relocation program are pushing the demographic back in their direction. Dems also seeing good signs after a recent mayoral win in Jacksonville. All indicators show that Florida is going in the right, pun intended, direction. State GOP Chair Christian Ziegler not sweating things when we spoke earlier this summer. He felt national issues like immigration and education reform had Republicans in a good spot. And I think it's going to mobilize a base that you've never seen, a, a group of voters that you've never seen turn out uh, not just on the Republican side, but actually a lot of independents and Democrats as well are tired of this. Recent polling also shows President Joe Biden's approval is underwater and something that could be a drag on the Dem ticket if things don't change. Freed, however, leaning in on Biden, touting accomplishments as college students like Alexis try to convince peers to find their voice in 2024. When young people do show up, um, you know, we're, we're winning elections.